Well, hello there, and welcome to Henry Clark's Band in the Box channel. This is Henry Clark's channel. I try to show you guys how to get a little bit more out of the Band in the Box product. And I know it's tough, but my whole my whole philosophy on creating music is try to keep it as simple as you possibly can and get away with it. And that comes from my experience years ago and working with different bands, right? And when you're in a band, of course, you always have to compromise because the talent level is not always the same across the board. So you come up with workarounds, right? And that's kind of how I look at a lot of the music that I produce in Band in the Boxes. I try to produce that music as simple as possible. I know I've, I've done some tutorials on um, extracting stems and and shots and things like that, which help, which help. But again, I try to keep the programming to a minimum. Well, in this case, I'm talking about drums here and how a lot of times the drum set can actually create the actual tension and the atmosphere that you want as you go from part to part. And you don't have to necessarily get into all of the stems and things. There are a couple of light clicks. And I mean, these are really light clicks that you can make in Band in the Box that will make all the difference in the world in creating a different pattern that's of drum pattern that's just enough, just enough to keep your audience focused and to help build some excitement. Now, I know some of you already know this, but for those of you who don't, I think this will be really helpful for you. So let me get on over to my Band in the Box console, and I will show you guys how to do some very minor things in the drums that can make all the difference in the world. So be right back. Hold on. There you go. Ha, okay, so I'm back. So now I've got a simple song here, and I just wanna show you guys how you can make it sound just a little bit different and give it just a little bit of excitement. So let me play it for you. And this is just plain vanilla, playing the song plain vanilla. And I've got an intro here at bars one through eight in bar nine is the first verse. Bar 17 is what I call a change. And bar 25 is the actual hook itself. So I'm gonna play it through those bars. And I want you to listen to those drums. I'm in my verse. I'm in my verse right here. I can't be understand at night. And I know that it's because of you. I'm just I'm just making that up, right? <laughs> you know. Here's my change. Eight bars for the change. And then of course eight bars for my hook. to tell you why all I know is that it made me cry I just started that on the, on the fly actually I hadn't even thought about it before but anyway again this is the same hook I'm gonna repeat the hook again so that's enough of that so what I just did is I just showed you how the song flows through, right? And it's the same drum pattern throughout. Well, actually, a couple of things I can do that are just a little bit different and I need to put it in the right spots. So if you look at the drum pattern I'm using, and I'm gonna go ahead to patches, my drum pattern is Real Drums Nashville Even 16, right? So when I go and I look here, and don't notice how I'm on the left side of the screen here, if you see my mouse here, that shows you my drum set. If I right click, that shows you my drum set. And my drum set again is Real Drums Nashville 16. And notice in part A, I have a side stick, a snare. And in part B, I have a snare ride and a snare hi-hat. And it shows, it shows the difference in how it actually plays. So for part A, when I first start the song, I'm gonna start the song with the snare. But once the intro is done and I get into the song at bar nine, I'm gonna right click and it's a couple of things I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna change the snare to a side stick. That's the first thing I'm gonna do is change it to a side stick. The second thing that I'm gonna do though is that right here, it says allow drum fill for bar before this part marker. I'm gonna allow a drum fill so that it knows I'm setting myself up to get ready to sing the song is what I'm doing right here. So again, I'm gonna allow, I'm gonna check here 
and I'm going to allow the drum part to give me some type of before before it gets into the verse, give me some type of tempo change, some type of da -da 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 -da, whatever it is. I don't know what it's going to do. I don't know how it's going to play, but it's going to play. It's going to play a drum fill to set up bar nines when I start singing. Same thing happens when I go to my change here. When I go to my change here, I want to actually allow a drum fill for that also. And remember, I'm using side stick here. So now I'm going to keep my side stick. When I get to 25, which is my hook, I'm going to allow another drum fill. And I'm going to right click again. And this time I'm going to go to my snare. And if you notice, I have my snare set now. And of course, 33, just for variation in 33, I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the part B for 33. And I'm going to use a ride snare. I'm going to use a ride. And I want you to hear what it sounds like now. Got to regenerate, of course. You always regenerate. Just make it a habit. Again, that's my intro. Not that eight bars, eight, 12 bars, that's long enough an intro. Notice that? See, you notice that it set it up? I'm using a side stick. Still stayed with the side stick. Just this is just a minor change in dynamics, but it can give a great overall feel to the song because now I'm building. Bring my snare back in, and of course I probably would bring some background vocals in at that point, which would be kind of neat. Hook. Right here. Now, say I don't. So I didn't like that that hook part, that snare ride. I didn't like that snare ride. So I'm gonna try snare open. So I'm gonna go here again. I'm gonna click B section snare open. I'm gonna allow a drum fill, and I'm gonna regenerate when I do that. So I'm gonna regenerate just to make those changes. And, and st it started me going back to the beginning. I'm going to start from bar. I'm going to start from bar 29. So I like the snare a lot. And I can hear a little bit of a variation there. And once I come out of that, I probably will normally go back to my side stick. Which I didn't put that in. I left a snare in, right? But just for dynamics, I will go back to my side stick here. Again, right click. Let me see. right click, side stick. And I'm also to set it up even more, I'm also going to allow a drum fill. So now when I play and regenerate. And I'm going to start from bar 29 again. I love that. I love the snare. I just like the overall beat of this. Notice it gave me that crash. You wouldn't get that crash without enabling that function. Now I'm back to my side stick. So again, I just showed you guys four variations on the drums that can make all the difference in the overall feel of the song. Again, all you have to do is when, and not and now not every drum set has as many variations. Some have more and some have less. But if you selected a drum set that has those variations, then when you go and you right click on that part marker, two things you wanna do is you wanna allow a drum fill for the bar before the part marker, which means one bar before that 
that part marker starts, it will give you that fill, which helps set your song up. And also, you can change the types of grooves that you want. Side stick hi-hat, snare hi-hat, hi-hat open, hi-hat close, hi-hat ride. You can pick any of those. Now, as far as the clear drum groove, I don't want to do that. And I don't go, I don't want to go and define other parts. Again, I wanted to keep this really, really simple for you. Because again, we're not getting back into super, super programming. I'm trying to show you guys just a couple of things that you can do to help enhance. And these are just enhancements to your overall song. But sometimes a drum fill and a crash before a new part can make all the difference in changing the dynamics of your song without necessarily changing the music of your song. So again, I'm gonna play through it one more time. Okay, this is my intro. And this is my verse. Now, this, and I want you to hear it. I, I, actually, I want you to hear it without the crash, without the, the, the roll that's to set it up. I'm going to take off a loud drum fill, which means there's no, going to be no fill at bar eight. And just give you an example of what it sounds like with no fill. Still in my intro. I think it makes all the difference in the world. Just adding that feel in there, which is setting the song up, which is telling the audience, hey, I'm ready to start singing this thing, y'all. Hold on tight. <laughs> Again, so I go back, right click, allow the drum fill to come in at bar eight, and I am off and I am running. And I am a happy camper. So again, I just wanted to show you guys just a couple of things that you can do to enhance your compositions, make them just a little bit more interesting and dynamic with minimal effort. And the key here is with minimal effort. I think my snare comes in now. Oh, not yet, not yet. I probably would have brought it in if I was doing the song over again. I probably would have brought it in at that point, but I'll let this play through, right? Now I'm gonna bring my snare in. And that's it, <laughs> again, minimal clicks. Change your, change your drum patterns up. can make all the difference in your song. Add a drum roll before the part marker, which is means one bar before. It can make all the difference in the world. And if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comment section. And I will see you guys next time. I know this is short. This is simple. But that's exactly what I wanted, okay? And remember, keep the programming to a minimal, man. You don't want to be, you want to spend all your time programming, right? Work on the song. Work on the melody. I'm telling you, if you have a good melody, if you have a really good melody and a few dynamics in your song, nobody even notices that other stuff because your song will take off from there. So again, the key point to me is work on that melody, work on some dynamics, and you will be off and running. I will see you guys next time, okay? Bye.